All right, well, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, look no further than Unicorn World. It's going down right here in Greenville. That's where we find Fox Carolina's own Christy Waite. She's telling us all about the magical journey. Hey, Christy. You guys, this is a dream for me here at Unicorn World. It's at the Greenville Convention Center. I got some friends with me. I got my Unicorn World hat on and shirt. If you look closely, I even got on my unicorn shoes. And if you're thinking right now, Christy, you should grow up, well, no, I don't want to do that. That's boring. And joining me is actually the show director of Unicorn World, uh, Philip Goaty. And morning. good morning. Who do we have here? This is just one of the many friends that you'll be able to meet in our enchanted forest. Uh, as you can see, he's just a tall, plain, white unicorn, so there's nothing special about him yet, but that's why we need uh, our viewers' help to come and uh, make that happen. So we were kind of talking earlier about what unicorns are and the popularity and the pop culture behind them. So I guess you were saying they've kind of been just recently discovered, but have always been around in a sense. Yeah, I feel like uh, they've always been around, but as, as you said, they've just slowly started to come to life um, with the, n the newfound thought process of being yourself and being unique and not letting anybody hold you back. And I really feel like that's, that's what the unicorns allow people to experience and to bring themselves. That's very true. My dad actually got me the little unicorn necklace that I'm wearing uh, today, and he said the same thing, like, always be unique and be yourself, but always leave a little sparkle wherever you go, because the world needs a little magic and a little sparkle these days. 100%. 100%. Yeah. But what can people expect when they come here to Unicorn World? Well, we definitely have the magic, we have the sparkle, uh, and we have the, just the chance to relive, you know, the childhood of Watching the children is the, mo the best part for myself. Uh, when they come all dressed up in their outfits that the parents put together for them, they're all lit up, and they walk into you know our rainbows or our enchanted forest the first time, and their faces just light up with that magic that you still see in children is what gets me and gets a lot of parents. So that's what I am excited about. As far as what they can experience, uh, besides the unicorns and arts and crafts, we also have some mermaids and fairies who will be flying in this weekend uh, to come and visit, flying or swimming, however they're getting here. Uh, we have some arts and crafts, we have games, rides, bounce houses, so a little bit of everything to experience here at the convention center. It's so much fun. I'm excited for it. When is this all happening? So we're here Saturday and Sunday this weekend only. It is our second time back in Greenville. So if you came last year, come and see us again. We have grown a little bit with a few new experiences. If you didn't see us last year, come on out and check it out. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Tickets online at theunicornworld.com. And also real quick, I want my photographer to just kind of turn around behind him. And you guys have set up the fairy houses. So these are ready to go. And, and what makes these so special? So these are where some of our fairies live uh, before they come out into the event. So you'll get to see their houses and the habitat that they live in as well. Um, right now they are, you know, still cleaning and putting themselves together. But they'll have their ha house lights on and everything all lit up this weekend. Uh, again, just gives you that that special spark of magic when you see a fairy in real life and then you can see their house where they live in as well. And as my photographer is just kind of panning around showing everything, uh, you'll also notice Christmas trees. There's some pink ones. How many trees do you guys set up and fluff up for this event? Our enchanted forest gets about two to 250 Christmas trees fluffed every show. So it's full of enchantment and magic when you walk in. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for giving us a sneak peek. And if you want more information on Unicorn World, make sure you head on over to our website, which is foxcarolina.com. But for now, I'm Fox Carolina's very own unicorn, Christy Waite, reporting live at Unicorn World.